So, this video I'm going to wrap up the Frieza Resurrection arc, to the best of my knowledge. So, I believe we left off on the part in the last video. Pic so, Piccolo did die, and, I, and I'm going to make a rant on that in a separate video. So, Piccolo died and stuff like that. And I don't really, like, at this point, I don't really understand why people are, like, sad over deaths in Dragon Ball. Because you know you got the Dragon Balls. Unless they've been wished back too many times and they can't come back, there's no need for you to get sad about it. I mean, I understand being, like, a little bit sad. But to be extremely sad over it, I mean... If I was in the Dragon Ball universe and somebody died, I'd be like, oh, damn, it's fucked up. But, hey, we got the Dragon Balls. <laughs> Let's bring them back to life. Now, if they couldn't come back again, then I, then I understand. But it's like, I don't know. There's no point in being sad about that when you know they can just come back. So that happened. And um, I believe... Uh, Togoma came out and he admitted he was Captain Ginyu, whatever. Vegeta instantly ran up, vaporized them, which I'm like perfect because there should that should that does not need to be drawn out. Vegeta, Goku, way stronger than them. This vaporized shit. All, all the other Z fighters should be stronger than this dude. You know that should have been something that even Krillin could have done. Just you know, but Vegeta vaporized him. Goku's like, you shouldn't have killed him, man. Fuck that. So Vegeta killed him. Um. Then Goku and Frieza fight. Um, they, they start off fighting. Uh, Goku's in his base form. Frieza's in his final form. You know, they start fighting, whatever, whatever. Uh, you guys already know how it goes. Um, then Frieza goes into his golden form. And Goku goes in his Super Saiyan blue form. They start fighting. But for most of the battle... Like, you know, at first there's like, there's like eight, eight, you know, even exchanges. But for most of the battle, Goku was getting his ass kicked. Most of the battle, Goku was getting his ass whooped. Right? Getting his ass whooped. Um, one thing I have to mention is that the fighting, uh, the fighting choreography is not even that good. I don't like the fighting choreography in this fight or even all the, in, even in the Beerus fight. I feel like the movie of Battle of Gods and Freezer, Freezer Resurrection, I feel like the movies did a way better job with the fighting choreography. The fighting choreography in this was ass. I mean, there's a few good things, a few good little moves. I Like, I think uh, there was one part, uh, I forgot exactly how it went, but I think Goku kind of grabbed his back and kneed him in the stomach or something, something like that. There was like a few good moves in there, but it was ass. I mean, Dragon Ball Z had way better fighting choreography than this. I didn't like it. And then there are some points where the animation would look trash. Like, some of the faces look ass and stuff. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Some of the animation looked kind of trash in certain moments. It just didn't look good. You know, I, I didn't really care about this fight too much. There's a few little good moves in there. <laughs> it, it was funny. <laughs> it was funny. Um, oh, there was one part before the fight where Frieza was like, he said, uh, you you made me put effort into something. He, he said, you're the first person to ever make... He said something like, you're the first person to ever make me have to put effort into training. Do you understand how humiliating that is? Uh, it was funny because he said, like, due to the fact he had to train, he said that is very hu humiliating that Goku had to make, make him train. That was funny. And then there's a, then there's a couple moments where Frieza was fighting Goku and he was doing like, <laughs> like both of them was doing both of them was fighting and doing their punches exchange and Frieza Frieza sounded like fucking Kenshiro. <laughs> and then there's a few times where Frieza would would do those blasts. <laughs> that shit was that shit was funny as hell. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. But uh Go but Goku senses realizes something and even vegeta realized something too goku was like oh shit uh well goku didn't didn't say it but he but he had thought it and you could tell he that he realized what was happening it's the same shit as last time where frieza has a has a has a new form that he hasn't mastered so because he hasn't mastered it he's just burning through burning through it 
He's burning through the burning through his energy in the form. It's, it, it's kind of similar to when Goku. Uh, wait, no, no, yeah, he's just burning through the form. You know, he's just. Yeah, I believe Goku when he first learned Super Saiyan three, he, he he didn't master it yet, so it was a form that he couldn't sustain for a long period of time. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, it was a form he couldn't master. So, um, he's he's burning through the energy of the form, and Goku's like, oh okay, all I have to do is just try to outlast him, and hopefully his shit burns out. Before he beats my ass, because if it burns out before he beats my ass, I can take advantage of that. So Goku's just trying his hardest just to outlast Frieza. So technically, Golden Frieza was stronger than Goku and Vegeta. It's just he couldn't sustain it long enough. <laughs> it's kind of like when Rock Lee fought Gara. He got, uh, Rock Lee was stronger than Gara, but he couldn't. But the power couldn't last long enough to to, to finish the job, you know. So that's what's happening. Finally, the power runs out, and Frieza punches Goku in the forehead. Goku tanks it, and he Goku's like, blah, 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 you can't win, uh, go back, you know, leave, and whatever, whatever. It was some shit like that, kind of similar to when Goku said the same shit in their first battle with Frieza. Frieza gets pissed, whatever, you know, and then goku uh drops in his base form then sorbet blasts goku with a laser i already got a video talking about that on my channel that shit was that stupid as fuck how the fuck is a laser beam not even a key blast a fucking the ring a ring laser pierced through goku like that that shit was stupid there ain't should be no way a pierce that should pierce through him that was that was bullshit i mean come the fuck on i'm pretty sure fucking gualdo can beat sorbet and you got this motherfucker. That was pure bullshit right there. That was fucking trash. And then another thing. Um, maybe that should be a separate video. No, another thing. Yeah. So we says to Goku and Vegeta. We tells Goku that. I think he says something like. You're too overconfident. You're too cocky. And you let your guard down. And looking back on that. And I believe I heard Dragon Ball for Life say this. It's like. Goku is not too cocky. If anybody's too cocky, it's Vegeta. Vegeta's the one who's overconfident, not Goku. Vegeta's the one who lets people transform and all this dumb shit because he wants... That's Vegeta. That's not Goku. So if anyone's overconfident, it's Vegeta. You know? So that that was dumb. Talking about, oh, Goku always lets his guard down. No, he doesn't. Because uh, Whis was talking about their weaknesses. We, he said Goku's weakness is he lets his guard down. When does he let his guard down? He doesn't let his guard down. It, Goku's weakness is Goku's too naive. Goku keeps giving these evil villains a second chance. That's his weakness. Not he lets his guard down. That That's stupid. That's not his fucking weakness. So, you know, he gets shot with a late. It was fucking stupid. And then Frieza starts fucking him up and shit. But I ready to kill him, then Vegeta comes in. Vegeta's like, now it's my turn. And, and, and you know, it makes sense why Vegeta saved Goku. Because he says, hey, even though Goku pisses me the fuck off, he still pushes me to get stronger. So I need him alive so he can keep pushing me. So Vegeta goes blue, starts kicking Frieza's ass. And that, now that fighting choreography was actually pretty good. Vegeta was beating the shit out of Frieza. He was beat, kept, he, he was beating the dog shit. I'm like, God damn. Now that, now that, this fighting choreography was pretty good. He was beating the shit out of Frieza's ass. Whooping his fucking ass, right? Whooping his ass, whatever. Beating the shit out. About ready to finish him off. That's when Frieza blasts the energy beam to the Earth's core and blows the planet up. Thus forth, killing everybody. And thus forth, Whis doing the little shit that we saw in the movie saves everyone. And here's the thing that I, I didn't notice. So, essentially, Whis is talking about Goku said, hey, this is what happens, that, you know, because you because you you let your guard down, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, do you want a second chance to redo your mistake? Goku says yes or whatever. They go back. They go back to Earth. No, no. Whis tells Goku, he said, he said, I can only go back in time for three minutes. He said, I can only go back in time three minutes. 
so so that means that we can only go back in time for three minutes. So you're telling me that number one, either Vegeta died in the Earth's <coughs> in the Earth's explosion, which that makes no damn sense if if if, if he died in that. Number two, if he, if he didn't die in that, that means he died because we said, oh, Frieza can survive in the vacuum of space. So if he didn't die in the explosion, that means he died through suffocation, which if we said he can go back three minutes in time, that means you're telling me that Vegeta died by suffocation in only three minutes? I believe the longest time I I held my breath, if I'm not mistaken, was for I, like I believe I held my breath to, for I believe uh th this is only one time. I believe I held my breath for one time for one solid minute. I believe I did hold my breath when I was like a little kid for one solid minute or it was maybe 45 seconds to 1 minute. And I'm just a regular human, right? Power level's not that high. You're telling me this super-powered character can't hold his breath for three minutes? Are you serious? He can't hold his breath for three minutes? Like, if anything, Vegeta should be able to hold his breath for a long-ass time. He should be like, 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 you know, he should be able to go like, <gasps> and then hold that shit for, like, hours before his breath runs out. And then let's say he hold his breath and he had nowhere to breathe. He should. He probably should have the ability to fly light speed in space and find a planet with, with oxygen or something, and or better yet, shit. These guys are gods. Shouldn't gods be able to fucking breathe in space? You know, they should have made it to where if you have God key, you should be able to breathe in space. Shit, when Goku fought Beerus, that what wasn't they fighting in space? And Goku was breathing. So how the hell is Vegeta can't breathe, man? It's stupid. And then there's one point where Goku was fighting Frieza and Frieza was finna drag him into the water and Goku was like, fighting in the water is puts me at a disadvantage. How is fighting in water put you at a disadvantage? So, you have all this power but you can't fight in the water? Get the hell out of here. It's just like, I'm telling you, man. They need to hire me as an editor in Dragon Ball Super. If they was, like, let's say if Torotaro, because I believe Torotaro is the one who's writing this, and then Akira Toriyama just gives him the okay, they need to have me, like, be like an editor. So they write something, they say, hey, T-Sizzle, check this over to see if it makes sense. And I promise you, there will be no plot holes, no retcons, no ass pulls, no bullshit writing. I'll make sure that whatever they write is legit. Because this story writing and this shit is just complete garbage. Overall, this arc was okay. Um, it was all right. More so because it was so bad to where it was kind of funny. <laughs> I'll give this arc like a 6 out of 10. 5 or 6 out of 10. It was all right. Not all that. You know. But, um. Oh, and one part that, that, that uh. That Kai Mazaku said that was kind of funny. So there's a part when the Z fighters were fighting the Frieza Force. Each character does their signature move. Piccolo, Special Beam Cannon. Krillin, he does the uh, Scatter Blast, kind of the Scatter Blast shit versus Cyberman. That was pretty dope. Seeing that again, like you know, a little Scatter Blast shit. P Krillin did that. Roshi, kind of how Tien Tri Beam. Piccolo, Special Beam Cannon, and then Gohan just does this. <laughs> He does this. <laughs> Nigga, do the fucking Masengo. Do or kind of high. What the hell are you doing? What the hell is that? So, man, like I said, man. You know, they need to hire me as an editor. So, where anytime they write something, I go over it. And then I give them the okay. If it's okay. to, Because a lot of this shit would not be in this story. If, if I was an editor in this shit. You know. I feel like. You know, they introduce all these universes, explore these universes. You know what I'm saying? Explore. Like this like the the Freezer Resurrection arc did not further the story of Dragon Ball at all. It is it didn't further it. The Battle of Gods furthered it, but for, what, what was the, this didn't further the story.
What was the, like, in Dragon Ball Z, everything furthered the story. Everything was a step, f it furthered it. This didn't further nothing. What, what, what did this progress? Nothing. Right? You feel me? Like, <laughs> you know, how to, like, in the last arc, we got a new transformation. Now in the new arc, we have another transformation. Why the hell it, did we get a new form? And we and we just got a form in the last arc. Let's keep that form for a little bit before we get another form. I mean, goddamn. You feel me? Like Jesus Christ. You know, it, like like there's no need to keep on pulling these forms out over like. You know, like, cause I believe. These two arcs lasted 27, 28 episodes. How in 28 episodes we got a new form? At least back in Dragon Ball Z, there would be dozens and dozens of episodes before we get a new damn form. Like Super Saiyan 1 was introduced on Namek. And Super Saiyan 2 was introduced ep what, like 50 plus episodes later. And then Super Saiyan 3 was introduced a lot of episodes. I mean, it, you know, it was it, like there was, there, was a, there was a time span in between that before form was introduced. This shit is just... It's just new forms back to back to back. New forms back to back to back to back. You know? You're stupid, man. So, and, and nothing, like I said, how, essentially Frieza was stronger than Goku and Vegeta. It's just his stamina wasn't long enough to last. It's kind of like Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz. Conor McGregor is a better fighter than Nate Diaz, but Nate Diaz has better stamina than Conor McGregor. That's what this shit is, man. It's stupid. Just... <laughs> You know, so essentially, free and Goku was like, "If you would have trained longer in this form, you you would have beat me." How the fuck is he? This stupid. You know what? I already already ran it on go to free Golden Freeze long enough, but it, it's stupid as hell, man. You can't achieve that level of power by just beating a weak ass nigga up for for four months. I mean, come on, man. It's stupid. Imagine if Frieza, like when Frieza fought Goku Super Saiyan 1, imagine if Frieza just trained for fucking four days. He, he probably could have beat Super Saiyan 1 Goku, man. Four days of fucking training. It's stupid. Stupid, man. Yeah, and Goku and Vegeta has God Key. Frieza don't got no God Key. How is he competing with this? And that's another rant. I'm making another video in the future about this God Key shit. And how, and how essentially there's no point of, ha of having God Key. But... That's all I want to say. And another thing, like I said, man, in this in this shit, this should have been a Vegeta arc. This should have been, they should have made it, you know, if they was going to bring back Frieza, to have Vegeta fight Frieza. Which he did, but he fought him at the end and he still fucking lost. <laughs> he lost to a nigga who was way less weaker than him. I mean, come on, man. This should have been a moment where Vegeta faced Frieza. Because they have, a, they have a, a deeper history than Goku does. I understand Frieza called out Goku first, but this should be a more so a, a, a shit about Vegeta facing off with Frieza, not Goku. This would have been a, a good moment to have Vegeta take the dub for once, but they always got to give to Goku all the time. But that's all I got to say when I'm out.